Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to do a quick update. I have some really good news. A um, little bit of bad news, but not so bad. And uh, yeah, just uh, let's kick things off. So um, first and foremost, uh, recently cleared off the last of the copyright claims, which I'm really excited about. So we're back to being monetized and in good standing. It has been a long battle, but so far there hasn't been any new claims on the channel or on any of the videos since the last video update that I did. So that was really good, uh, very encouraging. Uh, the next thing up is we have another video coming out this weekend. Hopefully, if I can get the, the editing done, um, I've been dragging my feet a little bit on the hallway out here because of the doors. Um, the doorways are all very um, unlevel and just kind of out of square. So putting doors in has been a bit of a hassle, uh, but it's, it's pretty much done besides you know, the door. <laughs> Um, so that's that's going really well. I'm gonna have a video out on that uh, Probably the weekend or very very early next week. All right next up. We have the kitchen So when I did the kitchen originally it was more or less just to hold me over until I can um, Save up the time and money to uh, Do it right. So that time has come we ordered new cabinets and they're gonna be coming in in about a month or two months depending on how quickly they can be made but uh, it's gonna be done nice and it's gonna be done right and I'm gonna film it and it'll make for a, a decent video so I'm looking forward to that and uh, everything I did is is just more or less to hold me over until this time so it's it's starting to show that the countertop epoxy coating is cracking and peeling in certain spots and the cabinets are just really old and gross so uh, that'll be really really nice to have once that's all done all right, so next up we have bathroom, and uh, that is the, the bedroom over here that's getting converted into the bathroom. Uh, I had a plumber come in and do a little bit of work years ago, and it's it's not yet to that point where I can take over. I more or less want like a professional plumber to come in, um, give it the green light, make sure it's up to code, and all that. So I'm trying to get that done to a point where then I can take over that that little gap is where I'm struggling because I don't know what comes next. I don't know what to do. I'm not a plumber um, and I want it done right. I, I want to make sure that, you know, whoever lives here next after me doesn't have any issues because, you know, you never know. So that has been in the works and uh, I've been slowly accumulating components with each paycheck. Like I got the, the shower base. I'm going to get the shower walls. I have a toilet now, a sink. Um, so sooner or later, I'm gonna have all the components. I just need to actually start. So a little bit of movement there, which is exciting. And then next up, we have the garage, which is actually the, the bad news. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any progress there. I did file a formal complaint through the Better Business Bureau. Um, if you haven't seen last episode, essentially what happened is I hired a guy to do some concrete work. He, he did an okay job. It's, it's kind of rough, but um, he severed the line to the garage. So the garage has been without power in a close close to a year now. And I've been trying to just get him to come back and fix it. And it, it hasn't really been going well. Um, I ended up going to the Better Business Bureau. That didn't really do anything. Um, they just have a complaint on file now, I guess. I don't know. So um, I'm, I'm probably just gonna hire an electrician to fix it and just be done with it because I don't know what comes next. A lawsuit? I, I'm definitely not gonna do that because that's that's a can of worms I don't even want to open. And the money that I would need to do that, regardless of if, if I win or lose or whatever, I, I don't really know. Essentially, it's gonna cost way more than the cost to just repair the garage. So I'm just, I'm hiring an electrician. I wanna be done with it, I don't care. So that'll be exciting. And that's gonna segue into the next thing because once the garage has power, the bathroom, the kitchen are done, um, it is time to make the garage a workshop and get back to the roots of this channel, which is woodworking. And I can, I cannot say enough how exciting that is to just think about. So um, I want to get that done. I want to get these balls rolling and things moving and things done because it's just, it's just me doing all this and it's taking a while and I'm losing my patience. <laughs> I want to get back to woodworking. So that garage is finally on the horizon, getting back to what I was doing prior to the home remodel, which is great. I lost all of my workshops up until this point and I'm not gonna lose another one. It was just very unfortunate to essentially just lose the ability to do what I love and 
I'm just done with it. I want to get back. I want to do it again. <sighs> I'm tired, guys. I just, I want to, I want to do some artsy stuff. So that'll be, that'll be a huge relief. That'll be a lot of fun. So that brings us to the next point, which is another reason why I want to get this garage up and running. Uh, but for the time being, I'm actually going to set this up in the basement so I have a place to work. Basement's not looking so great, but we can turn it around. Um, essentially, we have a new channel sponsor, and I am really excited about this one. I, I just... I, all the stars aligned, the planets aligned, everything worked out, and this is so much... This is going to be so much fun. So, Stepcraft reached out and said, hey, can we do a, a couple collaboration videos? We're going to send you a C&C, &C and let's see what you can do with it. So, I am partnering up with Stepcraft. They're going to send me a... Uh, a 20 by 30 uh, CNC machine to make whatever I want with. And I already, like, I don't even have the CNC machine. I don't have the software. I don't even have a computer that can run the software, but I am already coming up with designs through a, a different program that uh, lets you make designs and then export them with the correct software. But um, I, I'm, I'm just really excited about this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of cool projects coming out of that, and I can I can do that in my basement. I don't need a, a big workshop just yet for that. Um, but anyway, uh, going forward, um, you'll notice that I changed the channel name. I, I can't remember if I touched on this in the last video or not, but um, the channel name is now Brett's Builds. Um, the with Jack part of it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I know a lot of people are confused about that. It's my last name. Makes sense, but it's also two words combined, so it's, it's a little weird. But essentially why I did that is I started a different YouTube channel. And this other channel I, uh, I have been um, feeding a lot of videos into, it's, it doesn't really have anything to do with this one. It's, it's just a different creative outlet. So um, it's, it's something that I definitely encourage you guys to go check out. Uh, there's going to be a lot of great content on there, but it is more or less like graphic design, music, storytelling, um, short stories, um, short films, things like that. So stuff that I do outside of um, the realm of this channel, woodworking essentially. And I'm really excited about it. I, I actually also started uh, TikTok, which I, I wasn't planning on doing, but it's it's great outlet. It's, it's great for posting these little short videos. So for this channel, I'm going to be piecing up all my old projects into story format or um, whatever YouTube calls it, the, the shorts, um, the, the vertical format videos. Upload those to TikTok, Instagram, and then YouTube. Try to get, try to finally get the, the channel revived and up and running again and breathe new life into it. So that's going to be a lot of fun. The new channel is just Brett's Media, and it's it's more or less the umbrella for other things. And I don't have better names for these. Like, I, I had some cool names picked out, but they're kind of all taken. And just having my name and then whatever it is, it's just easy. It's not that I particularly enjoy my name. It's just, it's easy that way. You know who it is. You know who's doing it. It's easy for me to remember, too. My, I, I have terrible memory. But anyway, that's it, guys. I, if you watched this far, I, I really do appreciate your time. These things aren't always entertaining to watch, and they're kind of dreadful sometimes to just hear, okay, what's new? Great, yeah. But <laughs> I, I really do appreciate it. All your support means the world to me, and if you comment below, it, I don't Whatever, I, I'm always going to respond because I, I, if you take the time out of your day to watch this and comment, I, I will... I will return the favor. So thank you guys so much. It really does mean a lot. And uh, I will see you this weekend, hopefully. But yeah, thank you again. See ya.